My name is Zoe. I'm Sienna. And I'm Hannah. We are the Sienna Valley Coders. And we have created a mobile app that helps people who live near bears safely coexist with the bears. We live in the community of Lynn Valley, North Vancouver, British Columbia, situated in between the mountains with lots of forest area, which means we have a lot of wildlife in our community. All of us are passionate about animals, so we wanted to create an app that helps bears from having to be put down or get sick from eating garbage and other stuff that people leave out. A local black bear known as Rufus was a frequent visitor to the Lynn Valley area, but was killed on September 15th by conservation officers after Rufus became too habituated to garbage and gardens. More than 500 black bears were killed by conservation officers last year in BC. Black bears are peaceful animals that need to travel through our community. Unfortunately, while bears find human food, enter a confined space, damage property, or their behavior is mistaken by humans as aggressive, they often get killed by conservation officers. This is a big problem in our community. The main issues are, one, the human population is growing and we are taking over the bear's habitat. Two, climate change is impacting the bears' hibernation and making them stay out longer. This is not just a problem in our community, but also occurs all over North America. To learn more about this problem and how to solve it, we called the Black Bear Society. They explained that educating people who live near bears is very important to solving the problem. Another interesting thing they told us was that notifying people of the exact location of the bears is dangerous. People then tried to find the bear, which scares the bear. We took this feedback and came up with our app, BearWare. Our app gives neighbors a way to work together to make their neighborhoods safer for bears through education and notifications. Users sign up and join a neighborhood in our app. Users can take a bear quiz, which contributes to their neighborhood's score. This makes it fun for neighbors to get educated together. Users can report bear sightings, which sends a mobile alert to all of their neighbors. We use the sightings to educate neighbors about what actions they can take. We are careful not to show the exact location of the bear. Instead, we show active, medium, or low bear activity. The only similar solution to our app is Repots, which is an app that tracks the location of wildlife and provides alerts, but it does not provide a way to help educate people. They also show the exact location of the animals, which can be unsafe. Current ways to get educated about bears are provided by Wildsafe BC and the Black Bear Society website. We think that providing education through our mobile app on your phone makes it something fun to do with your neighbors. Our app also provides alerts to educate people about specific problems happening in their neighborhoods. Neighbors working together is an effective way to solve a problem like how neighbors work together to prevent crime through the Block Watch program. In order to get feedback for our app, we created a survey that we sent to our neighbors and friends in our community. 90% were interested in a mobile app that helps bears. People were most interested in learning how to keep your home a safe environment for bears, getting notified when there is high bear activity in your area, and learning how to safely interact with bears when you see them. In the future, we'd like to expand our app to include other kinds of wildlife. We'd also like our app to be available for people who speak different languages. In our future, we hope our 